trees and a trail bulldozed, and neighbors say they got no warning. Apparently, the word hasn't gotten out, or it didn't get to us. Neighbors kept up this walking trail, put in benches, markers. Their kids use it to get to school. But they say late last week, without notice, a bulldozer wiped some of it out. Reporter Joe Bruno is investigating the work being done just behind Old Providence Elementary in South Charlotte. Well, if you look at the sign over here, it says outdoor classroom and in four years that could have a whole new meaning because CMS is exploring turning those woods into a high school. Neighbors say they feel blindsided by this and now they're trying to stop it. Rolling through these peaceful and quiet woods, heavy machinery. Crews classifying the soil and checking its density. They are expected to be here all week. No one knew this was happening until Mike Wall heard a bulldozer last week. What did I think? I was fuming mad. To the south of these woods is Wall's house of more than two decades. In front are sports fields and Old Providence Elementary School. CMS owns the land and without notice started clearing some of the trees to test the soil. Come 2023, it's possible this could be the home to a new South Charlotte High School. Wall says the neighborhood went through this battle about 10 years ago and he's sad and this is happening all over again. I thought that we were home free, that we'd keep this nice and quiet, a nice wildlife sanctuary back here, and all of a sudden, oh, here we go again. In a news conference today, CMS leaders confirmed their interest in the site. We're looking at all options. And so I just want to be very clear. Uh, it's an ongoing process, but we've begun some preliminary work. Wall says neighbors are mobilizing. They worry about their narrow streets, increased traffic, home values, and peace of mind. I hope they find something that they can't build here. We're trying to figure out what other options are being considered, what are the other locations under consideration, and why neighbors weren't contacted. Unfortunately, CMS Communications has been very helpful today, and we're hoping to get those answers as soon as they provide them to us. Erica. All right, I know you'll keep us updated. Thank you, Joe.